Hey everyone, here's how to make Z shakes or bounce shakes in Premiere Pro with no plugins at all in three steps. Let's begin by preparing our clip. So as you can see, mine has been scaled in. There are no black bars visible around the edges, so you don't want this at the bottom or the top or anywhere. Make sure it's scaled in and centered to your character. Then what you want to do is nest it. So right click, head over to nest, click OK. Head over to your project tab and right click, head over to new item, adjustment layer, click OK. Drag it on top of your clip and extend it to about 20 or 25 frames long. So I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now search for the transform effect underneath distort and drag it onto the adjustment layer directly. Now, first of all, make sure you're at the beginning of your clip and set a stopwatch for the scale and set the value to 140. Then head one, two, three frames ahead, reset it back to 100, then head one, two, three more frames ahead. And let's go 114. One, two, three, more frames ahead. Reset this back to 100. Then one, two, three, four. And set this to 104. One, two, three, four, back to 100. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six keyframes in total, which you then want to highlight only the last five, not the first one. Right click on one of them and select ease in. This is what it should look like. Now, if your clip is shorter, then no problem. You can just bring the keyframes a bit closer. So for example, one more frame back for each one. However, mine are fine, except they aren't because it looks a little choppy. So what we can do is add on motion blur. So down here, you'll see a shutter angle option. If I increase it to something like 180, you can see we've now got motion blur on our clip so it looks much smoother than before. In fact, let's crank it all the way up to 360 and take a look. Not bad at all, but let's say I wanted a smoother bounce. What I would do is I would spread the keyframes apart a little more. So instead of one, two, three, instead of having a three keyframe distance, I would have a four keyframe distance. So from the start, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to move it there. One, two, three, four. There you go. One, two, three, four right there. One, two, three, four. Let's see how that looks. It might look a little too choppy, but it actually looks pretty decent, which is not bad at all. Now, if I do search for my preset back and I remove what we just made, and what I'm going to do is add on, let's go bounce, shake, soft. I've automatically got this smooth Z shake applied to my clip. I can also pair it with something like, let's go a twitch shake. So if I just add that directly onto it, as a result, I've got a twitch shake paired with a Z shake. My shake and a transition pack is available for 20% off until the end of August. So get it while you can. The link is in the description below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.